Okay, I just had a dry run at this, and I'm going to do this again. Um, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, I'll start out and just get to this quickly. Okay, so we have a Epson Perfection V 200 photo, and we want to figure out what do we what is it we got to do in Ubuntu 1004 to get this freaking scanner to work. And let me tell you what. And this is minus all of me, all the um, time I spent wondering, trying to figure out what to do with it, running command lines and other things of that nature. Uh, basically, you have to uh, go to the Epson page, and you actually want to go to the Aviasis web page. And you look for a scanner. See, on this in this case, the driver doesn't come with Linux, and Windows, the driver did come with Linux, is already installed. If the manufacturer makes a driver proprietary, evil proprietary. Actually, it, it's a it's a GNU general public license, so it's proprietary and it is um, open source. So there's nothing evil about it. But it is proprietarily made, as far as I know. Um, I'll just open up a piece of gum here and give myself a little. So this isn't done. Okay, I had to redo this because I named my video file the same name. I'd like it if it asked you, would you like to save your file? If so, what? Okay, my model happens to be an Epson Perfection V two hundred. There we go, and distribution, I am in Ubuntu, I am in 10.04, I am in the United States, and I am local scanner, and it is just me, that doesn't really matter, that is just for their data gathering purposes. Now there are three, three things you want to download. Originally, I got confused, I only downloaded one. So I will tell you <laughs> that this file that I've already downloaded when I took my original video. Oh, making noise, so that gave it away. It's already working, folks. Uh, I'm just showing you what I did. Um, ended up here in downloads, and then I clicked on that sucker, and did all its deselect and all this other stuff, and blah, 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 and I said OK and put my password in. Okay. Then uh, for then you need also iScan and iScan plugin. What the hell is this? I don't know what version of GCC I have. I'm just getting the latest version. That's what I did. If you don't like it too bad, it's what we roll. So I clicked on this. And I just save the file. There we are. There already. Double click on it. It's going to tell me I already have one. <laughs> and then I do this. Save the file like there. And double click on it. I'm not going to reinstall that. <laughs> but I have them. Here's all the drivers right there. That is 107. It's none of, it doesn't even add up to a megabyte. Then, once that's done. I uh, just go over here to uh, graphics, image scan for Linux is what they may ask, what iScan means. And it starts making noises. The power of Jesus loads the drivers for you. <laughs> and then it, um, just do preview. I guess is it, is it the same thing as scan? I'm not sure. Now, maybe that won't save it. By default, this is set to save to, um, there it is. It's set to save to where? Default. Let's call this your fault. I think if it previews, it doesn't actually put it where you want it. So it just does it again, because it figures it can.
Isn't that cute? The penguin got scanned in the computer. Look, he's in there. Okay. Let me close it. And over here. And then we go over to your fault. Where's your fault? Default. <laughs> I already did it. Scanner. Scanner 2. Well, hey, I'm making scanner, right? Making, I'm making the first one before I make the second one. <laughs> there you go. Your fault. TV to X Y. Your fault. Click on it. Bam. Done. We are done. Come on. What do you mean it's too hard for the desktop? Come on. I'm all done.